Okay, so I often get questions from people about how I grade the voice threads for my class. So I'm holding my iPhone here and I'm trying to do a little bit of a, a makeshift screencast to show you how I do this and you'll understand why I'm using my iPhone in a minute. So this is a voice thread for one of my classes. I use the voice thread groups is what I'm using now for my online students. Um, so this is a voice thread that one group of students uh, participates in. So what I do is first of all, I have very clear criteria laid out for the students. I have um, a page that talks about tips for using VoiceThread, instructions for this particular activity. So they're required to leave two comments. One of the two comments must be left on one of the slides titled Discuss as a Group. And um, so anyway, very specific comment or instructions here for, to guide them. The grading criteria have a rubric, um, and essentially the rubric includes three different uh, criteria. It includes comprehension, clarity of communication, as well as originality. Um, so they're uh, very much focused on not repeating each other. There's a video here that they had to watch, and then we move into the slides where they leave comments. Okay, so um, this is me leaving feedback. That's my feedback um, to the students, so I do that kind of midway through the week. When I'm assessing them, here's what I do, is I'm going through and I'm reading or listening to each comment. I'm taking note of the student's name, so I take a look at what they contributed. And then after each comment, I go over here to a piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, I have the student's names down here. So when I find a student, I you know write their name down. And then I put a number one here and a number two here, and also the name of the group. So under one, I'll put if it was a voice or a text comment or a video or whatever, and then commentate comments about that comment. If it's if there's no notation, then it's you know just a it's fine. Um, if they're kind of excelling and doing especially well, I'll make some kind of you know good or great or comment to that effect. And then if there's a problem, I'll expand on that. So I go through the whole voice thread kind of charting like this and then when I'm done with that I'll look at my notes and I'll translate that into an actual score and go into the Blackboard gradebook and enter the score there. I keep this throughout the semester um, and refer back to it as needed. So I don't know if that helps or not but I just thought I'd share.